Hey guys, don't be idiots. Go get our shirt and pint glass. If not, I just don't think I like you as a person. <laughs> Today, uh, we're headed down to the Loop to go to Arby's. We haven't been to Arby's in quite some time, and the very special thing about today's episode is, is not the Arby's. It's not even this crazy sandwich we're getting. It's Derek freaking Strong. Comedian, podcaster, overall amazing human being. Corey's hung out with him. Corey's been on his podcast. I've actually never hung out with Derek. In an episode, we ran into him on the street. He watches the show all the time, but I've never actually hung out with him. So today that changes. Derek Strong, Meat Mountains, The Loop, Chicago. Let's go. Derek Strong in the back seat, officially looking like Jesus Christ himself with sushi. Uh, three meat mountains from Arby's have been acquired. Jump cut. All right, all you fast food viral menu item lovers, this is a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, see what we got here. Open it up, and okay, that's a meat mountain right there for you. We've got bacon, we've got roast beef, we've got American cheese, we've got turkey, ham, I don't know. We've got more cheese. That's got to be turkey. That's so maybe the last one was ham. And then a uh, fried chicken sandwich down there. Unreal, dude. It's a mountain of meat. It's a mountain of meat. They're, they didn't lie. <laughs> it's no lying from Arby's. I mean, how do you even eat this? Like, this is... I mean, I was way more excited about this. You eat it while crying. While crying <laughs> alone in your apartment at 3 o'clock in the morning. You know what you got to do to eat this? This is not a daytime deal. What's Step it? one. This is pro. I'm giving okay. pro tips out pro here. Pro tips. One First, you hold your hand out like this. Yes. Then you place the sandwich like this. Like that. And then you give a, like a compressor. Ah, oh, look at that. And boom. Look, that's like a more manageable. Oh, my God. Oh my God. That's God. genius. Yeah. That is genius. And we can actually get a full bite. Are we getting it, going right. for the full bite? All right, here I'm we here go. For, I'm here for yeah. pro tips. Tips, guys. Uh, smashed Meat Mountain sandwiches with Derek Strong. Cheers. 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 Great to have you, buddy. All that coldness still weirds me out. I know, yeah. man. What's that about? I thought all of their food was supposed to be hot. I was wondering if like, the turkey sandwich and the ham sandwiches are served cold. So like some of the meat's warm, like the chicken tender and the roast beef, and then like the meat in the middle is all cold. I mean, yeah, it's weird. He needs a sauce desperately. He desperately Give me does. some of that horsey sauce. Got some horsey sauce over here. Derek here would go. not leave the building without some horsey without sauce. Without the horsey sauce. Which a lot of people do call one of the best fast food sauces in the game. It is. People it's really underrated. love horsey. And uh, it's based off of a horseradish sauce, but it's not as uh, spicy. And this shows you how much I know about I was gonna say, if we're fast think, food items. You're probably the, the person on the show we've had who knows the most about the actual field. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of experience, guys. You have uh, your master's from Columbia, right? In fast food history? Isn't that what it is? <laughs> this, is this is interesting. I adjusted to the meat hill. Which is where you take everything off except for the roast beef and the chicken and the bacon. Oh yeah, that's that a good idea. Shot. Okay. The Meat Hill. More Number delicious. six with cheese, exclusive. Mm -hmm. No. The Meat Hill, that's the Corey Wagner special sandwich. Is this your first one of these? This is my first one. Okay, ever. this is a big moment then. This is a big moment. And uh, you would think that because of how much I've talked up RVs that I use one of their logos for my podcast. You do. Particular. I'm sure they love that, yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they don't, <laughs> and that's why I can't sell that shirt anymore. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, you would think I would have had this meat mountain the second I heard about it, but mm -hmm. unfortunately I have not, and um, I'm gonna eat this whole f***ing <laughs> thing. Oh, you so. said that? Oh, boy. <laughs> listen, listen, the amount of money that this costs, you could get an entire Burger King family meal. Yeah, the family That's pack, the family yeah. family bundle. Uh-huh. Um, also, if you do want hotter sixer sauce to really spice it up a notch. Oh yeah, I uh, <laughs> I have a bottle of this at home. It is my second bottle that I'm working on. Amazing. If you guys sold a larger size, that would be great. You guys, order the hotter sixer sauce. Why aren't you? Do <laughs> okay, let me let me just cut a quick promo. Order the sixer sauce. Order the shirts. Order my shirt, but order their shirts too. Are you fans of the show? Do you want these guys to keep producing the content that you love? Buy the fucking <laughs> sauce. Buy the sauce. Buy the shirts. He's wearing a new. Shirt right now <laughs> buy that one well like, instead of doing merch shout outs from now on we're just gonna yeah. cut to that clip <laughs> let's see if sixer sauce hotter sixer oh, sauce you got a really good spread on there oh yeah, yeah, yeah. i love the sauce man that's uh 
It's uh, when you guys said hotter, you weren't bullshit. So good, because some yeah. people said it was still a one out of ten. Most people are dead to me. Oh yeah. Good bite. Makes it infinitely better. Hot or citrus sauce makes everything better. You have a bad relationship, pour some citrus sauce on it. Makes it. Better. It might be a crime, you know, in some yeah. certain parts, but of the body. Dude, but you you touched on it though. That's right. Epic cheat day, the podcast. Epic cheat day podcast. We talk about food. We talk about comedy. We talk about mental health. We talk about trying not to be fat anymore, which uh, this sandwich will. Um, yeah, I was gonna say you really went 180 there on that one, but 1,250 calories for oh this bag. Oh my god, that's crazy. He had me guess in there. He's like, "How much you think it is?" I was like, "It's got to be 1,700." I was actually shocked it was only 1,200. Yeah, you could eat three of them and still, if you're a bigger dude, be within your caloric range for the day. Oh, totally. So. I'm not saying number six with cheese is endorsing eating three meat mountains, but you could. Dude, I'm so excited. So Corey was just on the podcast, right? That's I can't one. wait to listen to that one. Um, I'm excited. I'm sure today. I was going to say it's, it's out already for everybody that wants to do it. We'll link it below, but I can't wait to listen to it. I haven't had a chance to yet. Can't wait to see what you guys talked about. I mean, no big shock. Uh, spoiler alert. We talk about food. <laughs> yeah, we I talk assume. about fast food. I mm -hmm. mean, this man has such a wide knowledge base. At this yeah, point. now. So what's your favorite meat on the sandwich? Um, I can't discern which is which. If I'm, if we're being honest, like mm -hmm. it's all just like melts together. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, like the chicken is pretty decent. Actually. I was gonna yeah. say, yeah. dude, if this sandwich didn't have the chicken tenders on it, yeah, that gives it texture. It's it almost like does. otherwise you'd just be biting through only deli meat. That's yeah. like that having that little bit of crunch is helping it a lot. It's you know it's there. It's so busy mm -hmm. that when you take one bite, your mouth has no idea where to go. No. Yeah, except for the chicken tender breaks it up mm -hmm. and uh, it does it well. Too. My mind goes to regret, but my mouth does not know how to discern the flavors. Um, we also got to talk about your show coming up. So we got a show coming up at the Laugh Factory, 7 o'clock, 9-19. That's a Sunday, September 19th. It's called All You Can Eat. We are featuring, featuring some of Chicago's best, biggest, and most food enthused comics. So please come out. Tickets are on sale right now at laughfactory.com. And uh, guys, use the promo code EATER, E-A-T-E-R. Guess what? You get the tickets for free then. You get to come in. You get to watch us perform. That's it's going to be a great time. All free right. Laugh Factory show. Can't beat that. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. Laugh Factory Chicago. And uh, yeah, and I'll be there. And actually, because of you guys, I'm going to be wearing the number six with cheese t-shirt that hey. I purchased already. <laughs> you wear it on stage a lot. It's amazing. I do mm -hmm. wear it on stage a lot. I like the shirt, you know? Mm -hmm. It's also one of my least stage shirts, so that's <laughs> part of the reason Which is why. ironic, I feel yeah. like. It's a good eating shirt. You would think that it would be my most sane, like, oh, he only wears this for buffets. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, no, I'm wearing my, buffet, sure. my buffet pants mm -hmm. right now. I feel like the longer I take with this sandwich, the uh, more the more interesting everything just molds together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Comes Speaking, one solid form. It's yeah. going back to a Pangea. It's literally like we're going, back, we're going back in time. I keep picking this up like I'm going to take another bite of it. I'm not. I'm like dying. <laughs> I mean, this is this is easily like for the average person. Don't do this. There's <laughs> no, no, there's no reason. There's no reason. If you're like me, you, you know, for the novelty, do it one time. But yeah, you don't really need to do it again after. I did have a question for you. I was excited to ask oh, you. Yeah, by all I'm always obsessed with stand-up comics, like post-show routines. Like maybe it's a show, a night where you've done a few different stages, yeah, different yeah. mics, whatever and it's one where you're actually like kind of hanging out for the night, like you're not just going home. Yeah. Kind of like, what's your post-show ideal night, both like, whether it's certain friends or like, what's the food you like to get after a really good night of shows? Oh. Like, do you have a go-to? I go love to, comics post-show rituals and stuff. My go-to is either gonna be Golden Nugget or Golden Apple. Okay, uh, diners. Both are diners. Yeah. Uh, you, you know what, what I like about diners, especially post-show, you know, I'm still feeling that rush from performing. Yeah. I don't, all I know is that I'm hungry. I don't have a specific thing that I'm hungry hungry for yeah and when you go to a diner especially like a late night greasy spoon yeah. classic diner you have pages upon pages to choose from and then when I sit down there I'm just like okay well you know what I'm feeling like a shitty diner chicken parm kind of night yeah let me get that which is arguably one of the worst things you could order at a <laughs> diner but for some reason that's like my preferred vehicle for chicken parm. So, I love that. And you yeah. can sit there with friends and kind of like bullshit for hours, you know what Absolutely. I mean? And then they'll just keep refilling the coffee. Like when I was doing sketch with a lot of my groups, it was that was our favorite thing was to go to a diner. 
and just sit there for like two hours, debrief about the show, and eat over the course of like hours and like share stuff. Like that's yeah. a great answer. <laughs> but yeah, before we go ahead and rate the Meat Mountain Sandwich here today from Arby's with Derek, let's do a shout out. Vlog channel, vlog channel, vlog channel. Vlog channel. Vlog channel. Vlog channel. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a vlog channel. We've got all kinds of fun stuff on there. Most of the video content is either having to do with showing you all the awesome tourist opportunities that Chicago has to offer. Not only for tourists, for people who live here who are looking for fun stuff to do that haven't discovered every little nook and cranny that Chicago has to offer. We like to take you around on little tours to show you what that's all about. We also get invited to cover really cool events in the city. Um, and so we go and cover those events and you get to come along for the ride and see what it's like being somewhat of an influencer. It gets to go to fun little things put on by companies like Red Bull or Luna Bay. So if you're interested in checking that out, go on over to our YouTube channel, Corey and Sean. Make sure to subscribe and check out our most recent videos. All right, moment of truth in the rating world here. It's Derek's first time rating on the show. I'm very excited to see how he does. Wow. <laughs> like it's a skill or something. It is. Uh, uh, Derek, out of five what today? What do you want the image to be? Well, this inspires self loathing How about Johnny Depp from uh, Fear and Loathing? Mm. There we go, five Johnny Depps, Fear and Loathing, because it's, it inspires self loathing so How many Johnny hands. Depps from Fear and Loathing do you give the Meat Mountain Sandwich? $14. $14. With all Jesus. the meats. I, First up, Mr. Corey Wagner. Oh man, that is a travesty. Once again, I already said this once this week, but I do want to apologize to Texas for having to witness an abortion. That's basically <laughs> what that sandwich was. It was a meat abortion. That's what they should call it. It's not a meat mountain. It's a meat abortion. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you take more than six weeks to eat that, your insides are gonna explode. <laughs> oh, so God. careful with that bad boy. Um, I don't like it. I think it's disgusting to mix cold meats and uh, hot like fried chicken and warm roast beef. And then the, the cheese being unmelted is very disgusting to me. I also don't care for that. And 14 bucks is just ridiculous. I'm gonna give that, I don't think that should exist on this planet. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a, a one. Ooh. Oh yeah, what am I clapping? I think I was clapping because a one was way higher than I thought you were gonna go. Yeah, I thought you were gonna go negative. <laughs> this was... Uh, I think it's you being in the car, you know, you're, you're, you exude such positivity in life. Right. Thank you, well that's uh, that, that's what I try to do. Yeah. Especially when it comes to meat travesties, as Corey called it. Yeah, they should call it that, absolutely. Okay, so Derek, it's your turn. Uh, oh you know God. the drill. I mean, uh, go ahead, rate it out of five. All right, so you have so much going on with this sandwich, and out of it, that's good. One out of 17 things that are actually good. Here's the thing for novelty, it's like a seven Johnny Depps, okay? Just for sure, novelty. For novelty, yeah. For actual, like, practicality and, like, you know, you know, taking care of some kind of craving, it's maybe one and a half. Like, you're never ever gonna wake up one day, I don't care how fat you are, you are never gonna wake up one day craving a meat mountain. No. You're never, if you have one, you have it, and then it's a bucket list thing, and then you're like, okay, that was stupid, and I'm gonna move on with my life. But anyway, yeah, one and a half Johnny Depp's, like, I, you know, why? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna split that in the middle of your, both of yours. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 1.25. Boom. Yeah, I, the cold to hot thing is the biggest problem with it. It's it's already like shouldn't exist and it's overpriced, but the fact that it's mainly cold irks me. Mainly cold. It's yeah. that's the thing. It's not like lukewarm and some of it's cold. It's mainly a cold sandwich and it yeah. shouldn't be. No. So, uh, but like you said, the novelty and the internet and YouTube and you being here with your show. That was a great subject of a video, I'll tell Absolutely. you what. Glad, yeah, glad we could revisit it here today. By the way, the one and a half, I still finished the whole <laughs> fucking sandwich. Of course. I, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. Uh, we talked about like that in a recent thing. video. Yeah, yeah, we get What, are you gonna not eat your lunch? Yeah, people yeah. give us crap because sometimes we'll eat it all and then rate it bad. It's like, well, I'm still hungry and poor. Yeah, I gotta have lunch. <laughs> you know, exactly. like, yeah. like, this costs money, you know, you Right, know, trust me, I finished worse meals, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 Once again, Derek Strong, the podcast is linked below. His show coming up on September 19th is linked below and how to get free tickets as well. And uh, this is a big moment for us. We wanted to do this for a while. So excited, Derek, once again, it was great meeting you in person. You so I'm much. glad that this is gonna be the first time we hung out, we did this. This Guys, is a great Guys, I love friendship. it, I'm so glad I did this. Yeah. This is like, you understand, I've been wanting to do this ever since I first saw my first episode. I'm so glad it happened. So glad it happened. We'll have to have you in the kitchen at one yep. point eating really spicy chicken wings with us or something too. Well, I just want to say this again, like if you want to use this for like some stock footage or whatever. Yeah. Buy the merch, sign up for the Patreon, hit them up, and they're going to do a cameo for you guys. <laughs> Guess what?
guess what? They have PayPal. Just give them money directly. F*** <laughs> it. You don't need to get anything back for it. They're here for you. You should be there for them. PayPal, number six with cheese. Patreon, number six with cheese. Buy the shirts, number six with cheese.com. Get the f***ing <laughs> hot sauce. They have their own hot sauce. How many f***ing <laughs> comics do you know have their own food? <laughs> I would love to have my own food one day. I want to get more than 100 listeners of the Epic Cheat Day podcast when I do. Guess what? Getting my own f***ing <laughs> food, son. That's what's going to happen. Sounds number like, six with cheese.com. I think we just need to get our fans to go over and uh, hop on that Epic Cheat Day. Yeah, please go subscribe. And then we're, we're going to watch Derek. Get his own food. Blow up and have his own food. It's gonna be amazing. My goal as a stand-up comedian isn't to sell out Master Square Garden, it's to have my own chain restaurant. It's to have my own English muffin brand. I respect that. <laughs> Derek, I love you, dude. Thanks for doing the show. Thank this you. This is so incredible. Much like, guys, this you don't understand how bad this sandwich has been the last <laughs> six bites. Like <laughs> topping through. Yeah, I think we do know, actually. Guys, see you tomorrow for a brand new video back at Corey's. Go subscribe to Derek. Bye.